Hi, I'm Brian with Joybrew Furniture, and I'm here to show you a few tips on how to take a great photo of your room. To get started, open those blinds or shades because natural light is your new best friend. Natural light adds a nice glow that will help prevent your photos from looking dark or grainy, like how a lot of nighttime photos turn out. Your best bet is to try to find a time of day when there's enough light shining through to brighten up your room. That way, you don't need to use your camera's flash. Keep in mind to avoid snapping photos when the sun is directly shining through your windows because it will create uneven lighting and shadows where some spots of the room are brighter than others. Once you have your lighting down, it's time to set up your shot. Hold up your camera and walk around the room until you can find an angle where you can fit your furniture in the camera screen, as well as any other decor that you'd like to feature. And make sure your camera is as level as possible. Using the guides on your phone, those lines that run up and down and left to right, is super helpful for this. And here's a quick tip. Try taking one or two steps a little farther back so you can capture a little bit more on your camera screen. That way you're giving yourself a little bit more wiggle room so that you can crop and zoom on your phone a little later on. Technology. When you're ready to take your photo, make sure your camera lens is wiped clean for the sharpest looking photo. If your room looks like it's filled with only just your face, you may have switched that front facing camera around and you're actually about to take a selfie. So turn that camera around, folks. Keep your shot in focus and blurry free by steadying your hands before, during, and even after you press that shutter button. You can even lean on a wall or another sturdy flat surface if it helps you stay still. After all, you don't want your shot to look like it was taken mid sneeze. Take as many photos as you can from all different angles because you never know which one you're gonna like best. If your photos aren't quite where you want them to be, you can make some tweaks such as brightness, contrast, and crop on your phone. Then your shots should be ready to share. Well, happy shooting. We hope this information helps. And we here at Joybird love, love, love to see what your spaces look like with our furniture. You can upload your favorite photos at joybird.com slash submit dash photo. Who knows, your picture might just end up being featured on our website. You can also tag us when posting photos of your Joybird pieces at WeAreJoybird on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks for watching.